I'm talking about some respect. Where Bird Man say put some respect on it. Yeah. Put some respect on my name, man. I mean, because you got to think about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. OG, appreciate it, Mike. Mm-hmm. But you got to think appreciate about it, man. Birdman was kind of right. He felt disrespected, which is why he was like, yo, put some respect on my name. Like, I've done too much for you to disrespect me like this. Mm-hmm. But then again, shouldn't respect be respect? Should I respect you more? Because you're more successful than this person and you're lame. I don't know. Should I respect you more because you may have more money than this person? Should I respect you more because you get more clout or attention than this person? Hmm. To be honest, well, to be honest, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I don't think so. to be honest, the people I respect the most has nothing to do with the money. Mm-hmm. Has nothing to do with things around him has everything everything to do with them mm-hmm. them as a person yes, sir. you know what I'm saying like who they are not even personality because personality defers appreciate it, appreciate it. Mm-hmm. personality defers you know what I'm saying but when it comes to like respect how do you how do you act in certain situations your character mm-hmm. what do you think about certain topics can I respect your opinion in right. certain situations or right. certain Discussions, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? There's so many different things. Angles, respect. Angles, angles. But how, how do I know you respect their opinion? Whoa. To be honest, yeah. I like oh, that. You know why? Because you know why? It, it's a 50% world. Oh, so, yeah. you know, Democrats hate Republicans. Republicans. Well, how am I to say yeah. I hate whatever? Yeah. How am I to say your, opi- your yeah. opinion is invalid? Yeah. 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 That's a lot of people don't date on social media. It's all religion, all this. Wait a minute. Hold on. That's a biased question because that's your value. I understand that. I understand that. So you're getting off your values. My fault. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I understand that. I understand that. Let's take a look. Can I say that? Can I say that? Ah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome back to the Speaking Truth Podcast, man. We are here. At 4K Crib, man. Shout out to Mike. Shout out to 4K. Shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Chris, man. Shout out to the guys. Shout out to guys. Shout Appreciate y'all for letting us use the crib. Appreciate it for Once sure. again, man. Once always. But AT, man, we are here. Y'all got, y'all got right to it, man. Mike. Yeah, nah, sorry. I sorry. think you might have set Mike off in the background, sorry. man. I don't know, man. What's but no, I like that. I like that. You want to know why? Because personally, because again, I can't speak for everybody. No one can. But personally, as long as you're views and your you know what I'm saying your ideology or whatever mm-hmm. to be honest like I'm not going to disrespect you because you think a certain way as long as it's not morally wrong or insane I'm not going to judge you differently because mm-hmm. you you know what I'm saying because right. it goes back to oh if someone's gay I'm not going to I'm going to look at that person different right. no nah, that person's just gay it's just right. what it is you know what I'm saying so oh he's Muslim He's atheist. Okay. You respect right. what they do. You may not necessarily you know agree. You don't have to like it. And then another thing you can go into, another thing you can go into, because you know, we're on when it comes to Republican, the Trump thing. We went to a lot, we went to a school with a lot of Trump supporters. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And <laughs> I'm not gonna say they were we were best of buddies. No. But I wasn't gonna look at them less of a person because they think Trump was a better president. I don't care if you think Trump is a better president than with um then Hillary right. or somebody else, right. like it exactly. is that's yeah, what, what you think. Right. That's what you... If you would if you're a dickhead, I don't care if you BLM all the way, you're a dickhead. Like right. exactly. That's your character. Exactly. And that's and that's the You can't hide behind nothing. I can't I can't respect the dickhead because you're a dickhead. Hey. I don't care about Hey man, that's not I don't know Mike Mike is he's doing all that political stuff, man. He might have just <laughs> gotta be careful with Mike, man. You can't, you can't say too much. You can't say too much. Trigger Mike up in here, man. But, man, man the, the subject is respect today, though. You know, I, I've just seen a lot of stuff. You know, just but thinking about reflecting on life. You know what I'm saying, and just you know how relationships are started, or even not even you can say platonic business, you know, romantic, whatever, whatever type of relationship is established. You know, respect is always that fundamental core piece that you know is that. You know what I'm saying? That foundation of what creates that any any next step of any type of relationship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like as a society, especially within our culture, especially within the DMV culture, if I'm being honest, man, like, you know, respect, it's always like, you know, I was telling you earlier that quote, like, you know, respect has respect has to be earned, not given. Mm-hmm. And my my kind of idea to that is like, you know, two things can be true though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if we talk about respect, 
You know what I'm saying? If we, and, and, if you, and we 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 had a point now, like we grown, like you know what I'm saying. If we, we talk about respect. You want to establish some some type of networking. You want to build some type of relationship to do whatever you need to do in life. Like you gotta have some type of respect for someone for some mm-hmm. people based on what they do. Like what you were saying earlier, I'm like, like granted, like you know, you may not like them. You don't have to like them as a person. Like that's that's the one thing I think people kind of you know make it confused with respect because like you know I can respect. Like you said, I can respect what Trump did as far as like not not did. I can respect his <laughs> Trent like me. Yeah, a little bit me I got you, I got you, I got you. Know what I'm saying? I, I can respect you. I can respect the ideology. Or at least I can respect what he like he stood on whatever he did. I I'll say that. That's what I say I respect. He stood on it. Like and he, and he, and he, whatever it was, it was. So like, I mean I don't do I agree with what he said? No. Do I agree with you know his views? Do I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Trust me, dude. I'm not I'm not saying no, I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying how I support Trump, y'all. I'm not saying saying that. I'm saying that you know, as as far as like that, that's the, I feel like that's the reason why he even made it so far into presidency because people, you know, had some type of level of respect for him to say, you know what, you know, mm. I mean, he's he's he don't he's, he don't he's, he don't he's, 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 he's saying I respect it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, gas prices were a lot cheaper too. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but nah, for real though. Um, as far as like yeah, the foundation of of any relationship being respect, man. Just you know, going like I think like that's what I'm saying. Like being, respecting being different from having to like someone. Mm. I feel like, and that's what we kind of get confused, uh, or not even get confused. We we kind of just like jump, cause, jump. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We just skip that. Yeah, this is it goes from oh I don't like that person to then now I'm going to disrespect that mm-hmm. person. But I mean, just because like you said, just because I like you, I don't mean I have to disrespect you. Right. Unless you disrespect me, mm-hmm. it's a totally different story. Right. If someone disrespects you, of course, it's a totally different story. But until that disrespect is presented, I'm going to respect everybody. Mm-hmm. I'm respect everybody. I'm give everyone the same respect. You know what I'm saying? Like my friends and my my guys, you can I wouldn't say I respect them more, but I love them more. Right. I I have a tighter relationship yeah. with them than other people. So of course, the respect may go a little. Longer or may look different right. because of who we are. Yeah, in another relationship but see, like respecting you, you can always add on respect. You know what I'm saying? Respect, yeah, you build on respect just like how you would build on anything else in any type of relationship. But the respect piece has to always be there, and that's where sure. you know falling outs happen or like you know people. You you start to notice things about people because I was saying earlier that like, we can you can kind of jump into it because we do we do talk about relationships you know, kind of often on this podcast, and it's not that you know be trying to bash any type of party, no, but nothing like that, right? But you know, as far as respect, we, we, we get to a point where we, we, we get ourselves involved with people, you know, and we kind of like, we, we get past that sprung phase, right? Like we get so sprung every time we kind of figure out, oh, okay, this person's feeling me. Like, oh, all right, let me, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let me, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, this is cool. Like, let me keep, let me keep doing what I got to do so I can keep them liking me. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, you, you go on, you chasing the, 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 what's the, the that, that sprung. You chasing, you chasing, you chasing the, the, the attraction, the attraction. You're chasing the attraction. You want that. You want that attraction to be there. But like, you know, sometimes we forget that. You know, we're we're people. We gotta like move as if you know. I, I'm trying. I want to figure out who who you are. Who who each person is individually. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And treat them who for they are as that individual person. Because I, everybody has a, everybody has their own thing they go. I always say like everybody has their own things that they got going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's that's just why I come with a lot of respect. You know what I'm saying? I just come, I just be like, yo, like, I know, I know life is hard, bro. Like, I, I try not to, you know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, I put it on my story about the other day, especially about with, with basketball. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was being hoopers, like, you know, respect is like earned like that quickly. You know what I'm saying? Because like, it's just once to get the game. Like, it's a game. Play. God respect your game. Yeah, the and game it's not that, it doesn't take that long to realize that respect somebody's game right. or not. And then the game, from the game, that's when you can figure out, you know, is this is this player or is this this other person, you know what I'm saying? Can person? I respect him as a person? Can I respect him as a person? Just you know what I'm hooper. saying? Right. Because as we both know, mm-hmm. there's some hoopers that we can respect on the court, but the character off the court may be different. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's how that's that's just how stuff is to be honest. Exactly. But, but the yeah. is there. But nah, you need to stand on what you said earlier. What? You know what you said earlier. What did I say? Oh, no. <laughs> nah, you, you know what you said earlier. Don't oh. do that. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, well. Here we go. Oh, man, man, you trying. You put me out there, man. All right, well, I'm not calling, like, you know me. I said, I'm not calling. <laughs> I know, but, yeah. yeah but as far you. as, you know, 
when we when we try to you know get it, like I said, we were talking about just slightly earlier. Like relationships. I was getting, I was getting talking into relationships. about relationships, not we, friendships, but really like relationships. You know, and then saying our respect, we don't. I'm not gonna say we. When people are are going after a relationship, mm-hmm. I'm trying to like. If, that's nah, not the reason like wait, you but get, you get, you going, get. people that are going after a relationship, they, you know, they they're they're chasing most of the time they want that. I want this person. I want I want a I want a boyfriend, girlfriend, I want a husband, wife. Title. I want a title for this for 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 whoever this Myself person can be. Or yeah, whatever yeah, it, yeah. Or whoever this person could be. Even even platonically, I want some friends. Alright, yeah. I'm a friend, 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 friend. Alright, <laughs> All right, well, Okay, you gotta like one like you got you gotta you gotta stop chasing titles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't go after titles because that's if you're going after a title, we're not. That's what I said. That's what I said already. Like we're not going to learn about people for who they are, for the individuality. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And to learn how to respect them, learn how to care for them, learn how to love for them. You know what I'm saying? That's those are the type of things that you know. Respect is huge on. Like I said, it's the, it's the foundational piece of any type of relationship. Any type of relationship. Like, you know, forget it. Like, I'm, I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the guys real quick. I know you wanted to talk about it, but guys, like, you know, what I'm saying we wanna, we wanna, we wanna put ourselves out there. We, we you know, what I'm saying we, we do what we gotta do to try to, you know, just get the woman that we want. I'll, I'll put it like that. We get the woman that we want for mm-hmm. for all the guys out there. But you know, we not. Do we 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 chasing you no know, realistic guy? We chasing the wrong thing. Like yeah, get yeah. We can most you know, guys. Yeah, most guys. I say yeah. Go ahead, get your. You can get if she's with it, and you know what I'm saying. She's consensual. You know what I'm saying. I'll do what y'all do. Go ahead, do it. But don't get mad when you get to a point where it's like yeah, shorty's like kind of weird, or like oh like damn, me and her like we don't have nothing in common, mm. or like oh dang, like she. She she did this to, she would do this to, like or he would do this to me even women too like I, we can go it goes both ways like yes, it definitely does. like y'all messing up y'all messing the whole key of respect because like because we just chasing mm. the title we chasing the, the sex we chasing the, the whatever it is like, yeah. you know what I'm saying because most people like like you were just saying it's just just sex like guys would I you know what I'm saying all right guys would get in a relationship just for consistent sex. And it's very unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it just is what it is. Most guys just be like, bro, I just need some cheeks. So they get consistent cheeks. Which is why some yeah. women are defensive like that. Because they know and they think that most guys just want that. Yeah. But that doesn't give them the excuse for them to do certain things they do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's both sides, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Moving, like, moving the discernment, man. Moving with this, like... Really, that's a, that's like a weird. That would be a challenge. Like I know, I know everybody wants to say we young, we don't gotta worry about all this and that and the third. But like, you know, if for the people that do want to have that, or at least have the idea of what you want, like mm-hmm. really think about like, you know, can I respect my partner? Can I do I have the respect for my partner? Like, can I respect that? Okay, like they work, they do this for the, for they, the living. whatever they do. Right, no, they, they do this. They do this for a living. Oh, they 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 take care of their family in this way. You know what I'm saying? This is their side hustle. Like, okay, I can respect that person for what they do and who they are as an individual person. Not, you know what I'm saying? We, we some even guys, women, who it doesn't matter. Like sometimes, we, even if they got a status, like they got the bread, like they got money. Like, okay, well, I can. Ah, I see the money. I can. I can deal with a little bit of the red flag. I can. I can handle some some toxicity. You know so then that respect goes down. Yeah. Because they see the other things. Right. They respect. It's respecting the things around them right. and on them. But right. not it's not them. even respect. It's, it's it's not even respect though. I would say it's. I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. Oh my god! I know what you're trying to say. Oh my god! It's it's but you it's it's like a it's like a certain lust for it. That's I mean I, that's the best word I can use. Like you mm-hmm. lusting over the 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 fantasy yeah. of what you could how you could possibly fit in that or gain off of it. We, yeah. We, I, <laughs> We, we, we fantasize now. We, we have the right to it, so I'm not going to say we, we don't have the right to fantasize. Like, Everyone loves a dream. Yeah. Everyone loves a dream. You have your dreams, man. But there's also reality, like, at the end of the day. Perception is reality. I've said this all the time, but your reality, like, you got to, like, for example, me and you, like, I have to respect you 
Because, you know what I'm saying, one, you come from Germantown and come all the way down here, like, you know what I'm saying, you want to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the what, effort. The effort is there. The effort. You know what I'm saying? I respect because you was a hooper. Like, I respect you because, you know what I'm saying, you a smart guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like I was saying earlier, the respect, is, yeah. the, respect, the respect gets built. So then that's why we're able to move into our next level of our relationship, which is call each other brother. Like, it's it's anything, bro. Like, it's not, I'm, I don't want to feel like we be single and all, like, trying to create, like, little, little romantic relationships or whatever, whatever. No, it's, it's, it's everything. Like you said, from yeah. the rip, respect is the ground level foundation. For every type of relationship, even when it comes, it goes comes down to your teacher, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. your friend, the person you don't like, your coach, your your uh, your friend's mom, parents, right. your friend's little brother, sibling, yeah. stuff like that. Cause Cause you move, yeah, because if you move, if you, let's, let's let's get there real quick. If you move with outwards, like you just think you, you nobody owe you no respect, or or you think that you don't owe nobody no respect, and uh, you can. You see what happens to you. That's what I say. Like you know, what I'm saying like things, things you 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 can't you can't think that you above everybody, and I feel like that's also like rooted in our culture too. Like we we don't respect each other, or we don't respect the people that are trying to do something because they haven't made it yet, or they haven't did something to get to you know like they haven't they're not they're not like when we said earlier that they haven't reached a certain status or title. So that lets them that lets people know that they made it, quote unquote, or something like you know what I'm saying. Why don't why do we have to re- get the respect at that point? Like, I was saying, I was telling you the one time, I, we, we was schooling at the, at the, at the, in the studio one day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had, shout out to Kobe, I mean, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not trying to use this as a bad thing, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't, know, uh, he didn't necessarily think that, you know, we were serious about this at first, you know what I'm saying? As far as like, cause you know, I was sending all my Snapchats, everybody in my joint, like, you, y'all know, I was sending them joints out. I was sending them out, man, I was sending them out. So like you know, people that we probably think I was serious then. So, okay, well, all right. And he told me like, yo, like I didn't think it was like for real until like I saw it in person. And it was like, okay, well, I told him yeah, like it's cool, like I, I I get it. But at the same time, I like why we why like, that's kind of like it kind of goes to show like that's rooted within us, bro. Like not not within us, but like in the culture, like like. I have to see it to believe it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I gotta know. I got you. Gotta reach that mm. level of like, okay, damn. All right. If other people know some, maybe I should start noticing too. But you was here from the beginning. You should have, like, you know what I'm saying? Even the same, even the same people that kind of want to say like they go and appreciate their ex after they lost them. Like, you was there from the beginning. Like, you, 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 you picked up on. You, you saw what was going on. Mm. You could have, you could have at least respected the fact that it was happening. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, there's things you don't have to appreciate. There's things you don't have to like. I rather somebody tell me they don't. I rather somebody tell me that they don't like this, than to say, "Damn, I didn't think you were serious." I'm like, hold on, well, I mean, yeah, because it's like that's my point of respect. Like, I can respect the fact that you don't like this. Mm-hmm. I can respect that. You don't have to like it. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, we gonna keep doing this, you know what I'm saying? For the people that do like you it, gonna, though. You gonna do you regardless. I'm, I'm gonna do this for the people that's watching. Do it for me. That's so, all you can do yeah. in life. Just do you. Tap in with the real ones. You know what I'm saying? And people gonna respect you. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're in your lane, you're gonna earn the right people's respect. If you're trying to earn people's respect, you're not gonna earn the right people's respect. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna earn goofy respect, I guess. And that's why. But, I, and that's what I'm saying. We earning the respect, kind of have to give it too. Like you have to with that. Yeah, that quote I was I brought up like uh, respect is earned, not given. And I was saying two things can be true. Like mm-hmm. yes, earn respect because you know you don't want to be out here moving like uh, you know what I'm saying. You want to think that you like I see you above everybody. You don't own, you don't own nobody nothing. This that and the third. But also respect is given. Like respect can be given. Like I'm not gonna like I, I but shout out to Mike. Like I'm not gonna not. I didn't I didn't know Mike like that for a for mm-hmm. at first. You know what I'm saying. But I respect it. <laughs> I respected what he did as far as his craft is what I saw him doing with production and you everything. Had to, you, had to, you know what I'm saying? As far as podcasting to, and what he did don't try to do politically. Mm. I respect that. Mm. So I was like, okay, let me let me mm. let me let me hold myself mm. and say, you know what? Like let me learn something from someone else. Bro. And, and and I would like to say something about respect real quick. Like that's a good point. Like I feel like most people, honestly in, in life, they give they don't give respect. Mm-hmm. They they feel like people should give them respect. Mm-hmm. And honestly, a lot of people in life don't do a lot of the dirt. Don't do a lot of the things. Don't have res- don't have morals within themselves. Aren't raised right. Don't have the right culture. Don't 
don't have the right people around them. So it's hard for them to to gain respect, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I feel like a lot of people just, mm, just my fault, my fault, no, no problem, no problem, my fault. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people. Mike, I feel man, like, man, yeah, my fault. I feel too. like a lot because this is a, this blows me. I feel like a lot of people <laughs> do not give respect at all. They don't mm -hmm. give no respect at all, right? Mm -hmm. and, and 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 like I said, I respect Ant a lot because he gives a lot of respect, right? And it's shown, right? And and there's different aspects of how you can give respect to people. Right, but I feel like in general, if a person feels like they're gaining respect, or they, or, or I feel like if a person gives respect and is a great person and has a lot of morals and is raised right and has a lot of good people around them, like Daniel, Daniel's one of the most respected people I know in my community, right? And he has everything shout all. Oh yeah, shout out Daniel Brown, D for three. He's one of the most respected people in the community. But if you look at the things around him, his environment. His family, how he gives respect to people, what he does for other people. It's like people talk highly of him. So it's, right. respect is bound to be yeah. towards him. He's not attractive. He's not demanding respect. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people just, everybody just demands respect for people. And when it's not given, they're mad. And I feel like most of it is a lack of communication, but a, a lack of self-accountability within yourself. And so, yeah, a, a lack of humility. Right. And right. I feel like that's often what's going on in society right now. So, and like I said, I'm not the best. Of course, maybe other people may be like, oh, I don't give the most respect, but I try my best to give respects to those who deserve it. And like I said, if, if you know me, I'm always giving a fire emoji. I'm trying mm -hmm. to give likes. I'm trying to show, exactly. you know, try to show my best not to hate. And I feel like a lot of people do hate, which is why... And in and, and, and God's nature, with, within life, you're not going to get respect because you hate on a lot of things. And if you hate on a lot of things, you cannot experience, you cannot learn. Mm -hmm. yeah, judgment, the, the judgment and learning are mutually exclusive. Exactly. If you're seeking to judge, if you're seeking to hate, if you're going into something already with a negative mindset, how are you going to learn? How are you going to grow? So all that's mutually exclusive. That shit blows me because I feel like a lot of people are just so dumb, don't self, uh, are not self-accountability. I'm not the best at it. My, I mean, I feel like I'm really good at it, but I'm still learning other aspects of myself. I, I still got to do more things, but it's a process. It's not like, oh, I'm a self-accountable dude. No one's a super self-accountable person. You learn and you grow as you go throughout life. No, If someone was a super accountable and knew everything about themselves, they would know everything about the world, right? <laughs> they would be God, right? But now, that's why everybody needs a therapist. Everybody needs a church. Everybody needs a family. Everybody needs love. Because if you knew everything about yourself, you wouldn't need no one. But everybody needs someone. And that's why you got people walking around thinking they're superhuman, saying, you don't need no one in this life. No, you need people. And so that's just what I wanted to say. But a lot of people don't give respect. And a lot of people are unhappy. But if you look at people who are happy, it's not the people with money. It's the people who give respect. A lot of people with the money, they demand respect. And that's why they're not happy because they see, they demand validation. They demand this. But if you got the right people around you that love you, right? And that means more than anything else. Having a mother that loves you, having a family, having a girl that loves you, having a friends that love you, genuinely love you. And that's respect to me. And I feel like people, other people's realm of respect is, oh, I'm going to control you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Whatever you have to, yeah. man, communicate. Just love someone. Come with an open heart. That's all I gotta say. That's Hold it. yourself accountable. Hey yo, hey, 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 hey. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm done. I'm out. Hey, hey, hey. I'm done. I'm out. I love it. I love it, Mike. I'm out. Hey, and, and do that on that. Hey, hold on. Hey. I, and let's before we end though, like honestly, man, the communication piece is is very huge. Like I feel like we don't honestly don't know how to talk to each other. And what Mike said, man, because. A lot of our differences come from people not being able to communicate, you know, their frustrations or whatever it is, you know, but uh, their frustrations or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, there's, there's no respect. Like, I can't, people aren't, people aren't, they don't have that respect to give to approach people and even mm -hmm. talk to them sometimes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 even the smallest, smart, the slightest gestures, like somebody is holding the door for you, bro. Like, sometimes people can't even do that for you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, like, I know I'm not. I, I don't I don't I don't owe you anything, but it's just like we don't owe me anything like yeah. that. But it's like it's just small little things like that, just little little acts of respect. You know what I'm saying? That, that's like a way of communicating. You know what? Here, I, I see that you're on your way in. I'll hold the door for you. On your way out, I'll hold the door for you. Even though I, I don't know you for a can of paint, but yeah, mm. I'll do this for you. Sign, small little kind, act of kindness, kind of act of respect. You know what I'm saying it goes a long way, and you build on that. We were saying that earlier. You build on 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 those little acts of respect, those little things of respect, mm. because that's how you gain yeah. relationships. I put on my story of the day. You, we chase things. The goal is not to chase, man. The goal is to attract, bro. You gotta attract respect. Having that respect, like Mike was talking about for guys, man, for people like that, 
it's, it, it attracts people. It attracts money. It attracts whatever it is that you want in life. But if you go after it, you're just going to get caught chasing, man. You're going you can, you can to pick some stuff up on the way. Sure, cool, but you're going to be sustainable, man. People going to respect you. Or, or are you going to be res- are you going to be respected? Did you respect yourself on that path to doing what you wanted to do to get whatever you wanted to achieve? Respect, man. It's a lot. Go a long way, man. Go a long way. Yeah, I mean... So on that note, hey, you know what I'm saying? That was that was a great talk about respect. Hey, man. Hey, man. It was everything we needed. I think we touched on a lot of things about respect. Lots of lot. important things. Yeah, respect is huge. It's Foundation. You learn to give it though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know, I, I know, I know. We want to earn it, or we want people to earn ours, but let's learn to give it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let's learn to get that respect. Honestly, because if you give that respect, you'll get it back tenfold. I always think you give something, you get it back tenfold. Bro. This is my personal life. Literally. Literally. You keep giving, you keep you, you you keep yourself humble, bro. Like the fruits that you will see will just be so way bigger than anything that you can get in the instant moment, bro. Mm-hmm. So just well, like that, beautiful. Man. Just well, like that, man. And that's like I, I know you AT I like this one though, man. That's a lot of love and peace in the world, man. We're gonna have to end it. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. This is